Leonard Miller graduated from high school in 2021 and played one year of postgraduate basketball at Fort Erie International Academy. With the age and post high school requirements met, Miller originally declared for the 2022 NBA draft. But just a few weeks before the draft, Leonard decided to withdraw from the draft and sign with the G League Ignite for one season. Miller went on to have a nice season with Ignite, averaging a double-double on the season with 17 points and 10 rebounds per game. Miller is an intriguing prospect at 6'11", with some ability to handle the ball and potential to be a really nice two-way player. He's also pretty young despite the extra year of postgraduate basketball he already played. He doesn't turn 20 until late November. Miller certainly has the tools and potential to be drafted in the top 20, and a strong pre-draft process could even have Miller knocking on the door of a spot in the lottery. First strength for Miller is defense. I will start by offering the caveat that Miller is a talented defender, but definitely struggles with foul trouble at times. He fouled out three times this past season and had five fouls in another five games. But when he isn't getting into foul trouble, Miller is a really solid defender. Miller has great tools on the defensive end, coming in at 6'11 with a 7'2 wingspan and the quickness to hang with wings out on the perimeter. Leonard will have to get a bit stronger to hang with the biggest players in the post, but he's very good at using his length to bother shots around the basket and away from the basket. As Leonard matures and figures out how to not foul so much, he could be a key contributor on the defensive end with his size and ability to stay in front of ball handlers. Another strength for Miller is his mobility. Leonard is not a short player, officially measuring in recently at 6 foot 10 and a half inches. Pretty often once guys get to that kind of height, they aren't quite as mobile as a 6'6 wing. But Miller moves like a wing despite being noticeably taller than most perimeter players. Miller can handle the ball solidly, giving him the ability to pull down a rebound on the defensive end and push it up the floor in transition. But where he's at his best is flying around away from the ball, cutting and diving towards the basket, or running out ahead of the pack in transition. Miller hasn't shown too much as a screener in the pick and roll at this stage, but if he gets a bit stronger, I think he could really flourish in this role down the road. Early in his career, we'll likely see most of Miller's contributions on offense coming in transition or off cuts to the basket, but as he matures, his mobility at his size could become a real weapon. One final strength for Miller is how hard he plays, specifically how hard he works on the glass. As mentioned earlier, while Miller does have good size and length, he is a bit on the leaner side. This makes the number of rebounds he was able to collect this season even more impressive. Miller seems to achieve these big rebounding numbers just by outworking everyone else around the basket. He always seems to believe that he can get a rebound at any time. Playing hard doesn't automatically mean a player will be good. There are plenty of guys that play their butts off every night that will never see consistent minutes in the NBA. But Miller has a good amount of talent, and if he's going to play with the pedal down every second he's on the floor, he could end up having a really nice NBA career. One weakness for Miller is shooting. Leonard Miller isn't a lost cause as a shooter. He made nearly 80% of his free throws on the season and has shown the ability to make some tough jumpers in the mid-range area. But overall, if the defense is able to force him into a jump shot, they're probably considering that a win. Miller shot just 30% from beyond the arc on the season and had some pretty bad misses throughout the season. His shot form isn't awful, but it isn't super clean either. He kind of scissor kicks his left leg forward rather than the typical sweep and sway that the best shooters employ. All that is to say, Leonard has a long way to go before he becomes anything more than an average shooter, but there is potential there. If he's able to become an above average shooter at his size and with his mobility, he could be a real headache for defenses. Another weakness for Miller is vertical athleticism from a standstill. If Miller gets a clear run to the basket, he certainly has the ability to throw down some nice dunks. Or if he gets a running start, he can pick up some cool blocks with his size and length. But when he has to operate without room to gather, he doesn't seem to generate much lift. This leads to a higher than expected number of his shots getting blocked or altered around the basket despite his size, and also contributes to his foul trouble on the defensive end. Since he doesn't elevate well, he has a tendency to make contact with the offensive player. In fairness to Miller, his growth spurt reportedly came a bit late, and he's even grown a bit in his time in the G League. It's possible Leonard is still adapting to his body and will let some more of the athleticism shine through down the road, but I think that's more on the wishful side of things than the realistic side.
This first clip shows some of Miller's ability on the defensive end of the floor. The play begins with Miller one-on-one -on -one in the post. It's basically only him and the offensive player on that side of the floor. The offensive player sizes him up, then tries backing down Miller. Miller doesn't give up any ground and forces the offensive player to settle for a fadeaway jumper, but Miller times it up perfectly and blocks the shot. Outside of trouble with fouls, Miller looks like he's ready to make an impact on defense at the NBA level right away. This next clip displays how hard Miller plays, especially when it comes to rebounding. The play begins with Miller drifting towards the basket from the top of the key as his teammate fires up a three. The shot comes up short and rolls off. Miller doesn't have great position as he's essentially boxed out by two opponents under the basket. But Miller jumps up, taps the ball with one hand, comes down and somehow manages to corral it in between the two defenders, and ends up pivoting into a reverse layup. Miller isn't the biggest, strongest, or most athletic, but he plays really hard and is going to win a lot of 50-50 balls. This final clip shows how Miller can struggle as a shooter. The play begins with Miller trailing the play up the floor. As he gets near the three-point arc, his teammate shovels it back to him. Miller steps into a pretty open three with a late contest by the defender, then misses long and to the left. This clip also lets us see Miller's somewhat unorthodox footwork on his shots. If he's able to develop a shot using that form consistently, then great, but otherwise we could see teams working with him to fix his shot form. Leonard Miller was a bit of a late riser up draft boards as this process has gone along. While his numbers aren't too gaudy, evaluators are starting to recognize the potential Miller has to be a valuable two-way player. They can already see the switch ability and skill on the defensive end when he's not struggling with fouls, and the ability to score off cuts and in transition on the offensive end. His jumper may be a bit of a project, and I don't see him becoming a guy that creates a ton of his own opportunities off the dribble but there are some flashes that show maybe that some of that's in there. But if nothing else, Miller should be a supersized wing defender that can switch onto bigger players and also provide an outlet for playmakers on the team with his cuts and dives. The hope would be that he also develops a consistent 3-point shot so he could be a big 3 and D guy, but it could be a while before we see that from Miller. My NBA comp for Leonard Miller is skinny Jaron Jackson Jr. Triple J is widely considered one of the better defenders in the NBA, winning the Blocks title the last two seasons and taking home Defensive Player of the Year honors this season. His combination of size and mobility makes him a versatile defender, but he also does struggle with fouls at times and has never really found his groove as a consistent offensive threat. I think Miller would have to add some more strength to become the defender that Triple J is, but the potential is there and he may have a higher ceiling as an offensive player either way.